as we uh, make our way through the exhibit floor here at MJ BizCon next, we're taking a look at some of the interesting exhibits, and I ran across Chris here and this, like, uh, some kind of science experiment gone crazy. What is this, Chris? Uh, this is post-extraction distillation, actually. Uh, I was going to guess that, but I wasn't sure. By the way, you're with Pope Scientific, right? Yes, sir. Uh, chemical engineer at Pope Scientific. Uh, we've been actually doing distillation for decades, and we got lucky that cannabis is just another uh, oil that we've been uh, lucky to be able to distill. For the layman like myself, what the heck's happening here? So what you've got basically is a distillation equipment that's designed for high molecular weight heat sensitive materials. Uh, cannabis happens to be both. So the technology itself is what we call a short path distillation. And what happens is your material starts off at the top down here and uh, comes down this wall uh, along the, um, the, the wall. There would be a, a heater here normally. We did remove the heater so people can see inside and you know, see the inner workings of what's going on. Uh, stuff that boils will boil off the wall and hit this condenser inside. This internal condenser uh, is what makes this term, uh, this equipment, excuse me, uh, short path distillation, the vapor path from the heated wall to the condenser is short. So uh, this technology is designed for just what I mentioned, the high molecular weight heat sensitive materials. Uh, so basically anything that doesn't boil will carry all the way down here and you'll collect your heavy stuff uh, in this flask here. The stuff that does boil will boil, uh, come off as vapors, hit this condenser and goes along this condenser. I don't know if your camera can catch it, but it's a little finger up inside the very middle of the still there. Uh, the material will come along the condenser and collect in this flask and down along here. Now, we, this is just a sample where we can you know, take different samples if you want to change different cuts and temperatures and whatnot. And everything you see behind me is just taking this same technology and scaling it into l larger equipment. And what is the ultimate product? The ultimate product for most cases in this, uh, for this would be uh, vape pens, uh, shatter, things like that. Uh, edibles not so much because the idea of this distillation is to really bring up the aesthetics. Uh, you want to have some nice good color. I mean you try to mimic what it should look like in the real world here. So the idea is to make this stuff so you can uh, sell it on the market next to the guy that has not such, such good stuff. So. so when you were growing up did you think this is what you might end up doing? This is kind of cool, right? When I was in chemical engineering school I thought my only experience with cannabis would be college. It turns out, not the case, here we are, and this is what we do for a living. And this is actually still a small part of Pope Scientific, but it's becoming bigger and bigger every time we do one of these shows. Great, and you're uh, not just in the U.S.? Uh, we actually ship worldwide, and some of the other uh, countries in the world, we do have representation. Uh, it, within the U.S., we're kind of our own thing, call us, it's you know, everywhere a phone call away. But we've been selling these things to China, India, Russia, Europe, and of course in Europe, especially with the CBD market coming along long too, they're actually all also buying stills on a regular basis, including one like uh, this here, this bigger two-stage system. So when they, they, these grow really quick. And what we're finding now is this is almost becoming too small for just about anybody. This is just a basically turned into a toy, and this one over here, which is a lot bigger, I know your camera can't really catch that, but it's that's six inch still, which is about six times the surface area of this one here. And that's becoming basically the mainstay. Six inch stills process about four or five liters per hour. And at the end of the day, this is becoming a regular occurrence. Uh, a daily phone call, every hour I'll get a phone call and probably sell one of these things. So the CBD oil industry and the business is not going away, it's booming. It's booming. It is nothing but uh, getting bigger and bigger. And these guys understand that you know this, even this glass equipment is becoming too small for them. They're, they're into the full uh, blown processing world. You know, big stainless steel, ASME vessels, process pumps, engineers, chemists, that's where this world's going. This is where this whole industry is heading. Chris, thanks for taking a little time to explain this to me. I think I've got it figured out, but I'm probably not going to buy one for my home science experiments. That's okay. Uh, you can definitely, uh, if you, someone you do know wants to buy one, you can give them my contact information and we'll be happy to help them out. All right, thanks for your time.